Good morning everybody. My name is Dave Luza and this is Playing the News. The 23rd of June 2016 might become a pretty memorable day in the United Kingdom. It's the day on which they will vote on whether to stay or to leave the European Union. Leaving would mean being free from the boundaries and restrictions that the EU sets. No more billions in contributions and the freedom to sell overly curved bananas and cucumbers. And put prevent dehydration on a bottle of water without penalty. But staying in the EU would secure the Brits the current cost of living. And we gamers know how important it is to keep trading in the Mediterranean and the rest of Europe. And I will still be able to visit the UK Games Expo without a visa. A hard choice with big consequences. And as this week the voters registration closes, I prepare myself for a long weekend of gaming. A weekend that will start with a game that features a small Scottish part of this large island. A game in which a chieftain can make it to king. This week I am playing Isle of Sky. In Isle of Sky, with an E, players take control of a kingdom they want to expand. But each game, points are given out for different things. At the beginning of your game, 4 out of 16 scoring tiles are randomly chosen, giving you the game plan to how and when you can score points. And then the game starts. Each round, players receive their income and three tiles. Secretly, they choose one tile to discard and set the price for the other two. If the tiles sell, players receive their own gold back and the buyer's gold as well. If the tiles don't sell, the players pay for the tiles with the money they already allocated to it. The game has been nominated for the German Spiel des Jahres Award, and rightfully so. With its easy rules and fairly short playing time, this game has hit the tables a lot lately. And because of the different scoring tiles each round, each game is refreshing. I suggest you check it out. My name is Dave Luza and I have arrived. I wish you guys a great week.